hope you are fine and taking care of yourself at your home this is my next video on chapter electricity and in this topic uh, today we are going to uh, learn about the factors on which resistance of a conductor depend before going to the topic please subscribe my channel like my videos and press the bell icon button for further notification let's comes to the topic what is written here factors on which resistance depend last class verbally i have explained to you that r is directly proportional to length inversely proportional to area then we have combined in this today lecture i am going to explain you so for that first of all we have make a circuit here see this i have left a gap in between this circuit and i have connect this end to positive terminal of battery this end to the negative a key i am using which is plugged in or plugged now it is plugged out open key this is the emitter for measuring the current value so this is a incomplete circuit now how will complete it we are having nichrome pieces nichrome wire pieces first piece we are having with the length l and area a first we will connect this wire in this gap and when we will connect this wire we have to plug the key and when we will plug the key and connect this wire nichrome wire it is a conducting wire so current start flowing and that reading would come in the emitter let this reading is i1 let us assume that it would come 2 ampere hum isko maan lete hain ki 2 ampere hai now in the second case we will remove this wire and plug out the key and we will connect second piece of same material nichrome only but this time length is 2l and area is same means we didn't change the area we only take the length double so when we connect in between this second wire second wire we connect here so what we will get a emitter reading get change when we will plug it so this emitter reading would get a change and it would come i2 so what what we have observed this activity is already proved in your textbooks so that reading reduces to half that is i2 is i1 by 2 so that is i2 would be 2 by 2 that is 1 ampere so what is proved by this current is inversely proportional to length now the next third wire now we will plug out the key first and remove this wire we will remove this wire hum is wire ko remove karenge and we will connect the third wire which wire this third third wire it is a thick wire it is a thick wire but length is same but area becomes double and again plug the key and observe the emitter reading this we are doing the steps here so again we will observe the reading this reading this time i3 i3 what we will observe twice of i1 this first wire it becomes double that is 2 into 2 it becomes 4 ampere so what does it prove here it prove there that when area increases current when area increases current increases it is directly proportional now the fourth wire also you are watching here i have written aluminium wire what i have written here aluminium wire what does it mean i have changed the length of uh, sorry the material change i have so this fourth wire when we will connect here first plug out the key in the circuit and change this wire take out this connection and instead of this gap connect this fourth wire of length l and area a like nichrome wire but this time this is of aluminium and what we observe in emitter reading this time after plugging the key we will observe this emitter reading is different and that is i4 and this is also written like this so i that is current is also directly proportional to nature of material so by these factors we come to know by measuring through emitter ki these are the different factors but we are calculating the factors of resistance r is equal to v upon i by ohms law so from this formula potential we are taking constant like battery we are not changing here so what we come to know the resistance is inversely proportional to current what does it mean if you will increase the current resistance would get a decrease now we will compare these factors see this i is inversely proportional to length so resistance is directly proportional to length by this ohms law clear second factor we are writing i is directly proportional to area so we will say that i is directly proportional to area so we will say from here that 
R is inversely proportional to area by Ohm's law. We will combine these two that L upon A will come. So when we have to remove this proportion equal to will come. So there comes a symbol this resistivity and this symbol is known as rho. What we call this symbol? We call this symbol rho and this symbol is known as resistivity of the material. Resistivity means nature of material. We can say that all materials are different like you are doing conductors, you are doing insulators. So they all have different resistivity. Now the question arises: cross multiply this R into A divided by L we will got A from this formula. R cross multiply A then divide by L you will get rho. So what is rho? If you will put R 1 ohm area 1 meter square and length 1 meter. We will get rho unit as 1 ohm meter. What, what does it mean? Unit of rho. What does it mean? Rho is equal to R. That is this is specific resistance. What is this rho? This is specific resistance also. Another name. What, uh, what is this? A specific resistance. It is equal to the resistance of the conductor. Whose length is 1 meter. Whose length is 1 meter. And area of that wire is. 1 meter square like this. If this wire of having area 1 meter square and its length is 1 meter, then the resistance offered by this wire is 1 ohm. Or resistivity is said to be 1 ohm meter when resistance is 1 ohm, length is 1 meter and area is 1 meter square. In 10th class, up to this level is there. Higher level you will read about it more detail. Simply you have to learn in your mind that R is Sorry, this rho is resistivity of the material that is specific resistance. Mean a particular value offered by copper wire or aluminium wire. And R is resistance. Resistance we can change but resisti resistivity we can't change. Now look at here for this understanding. If I will ask to you. And look at here beta. If I will take a copper wire, this, okay, let us take this is 1 meter and this another copper wire, this is also copper, let us take this is of 2 meter. So I will say material is same, so resistivity, resistivity is same. And if I will ask to you R, so you will write this 2 meter long wire, let us take this is B wire, this is A wire. So B wire Wire B is having more resistance than wire A because R is directly proportional to L. So if we can't change these two, if material is same, resistivity would remain the same. But resistance is different because their length are a difference. If I will take instead of this another example that is this is 1 meter length of copper and this is 1 meter length same of aluminium. So does their resistivity same? No. Resistivity is different. Rho is different. I am not writing again and again resistivity. So re resistivity is different and their resistance is also different. So resistivity does not depend on length and area. Resistivity you have to keep in your mind. Resistivity depend, depends on only on, only on nature of material, nature of material, whereas, whereas, whereas resistance depends on, depends on length, area and temperature also. That temperature factor is not given in 10th class. If you will increase the temperature, resistance would also increase. Similarly, resistivity will also will change with the increase in temperature. Ohm's law also, if you remember, we have said at constant temperature. So this temperature relation you will read in senior classes. So this is all about resistivity and resistance. So for this, your homework is there. You have to read this activity in your book. That is given on page number 206. It is given on 206 page. You can go through it. And the numericals are already given. 
on 209 page 209 page numericals are there you have to do in your homework thank you